Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Twin States News. I'm Nicole Menner. Mississippi State defensive end Montez Sweat put in a career night against Auburn this past weekend, adding three sacks to make him the leader in the SEC with seven and a half through six games. His performance earned him a pair of weekly honors, and Coach Joe Moorhead spoke about what it's like to have a guy like him in the backfield. It was a pain because <laughs> you, uh, you have a hard time getting a pass off sometimes, particularly in spring ball early on. But, you know, I think, you know, iron sharpens iron. And when you have an opportunity to go against, you know, guys like Montez, Jeffrey, and all those other guys, uh, it's like sink or swim. You know, the guys, they got, they got to get better or they're going to get embarrassed. Uh, and I think, you know, going against, you know, a quality of player like Montez and those guys, is, is, it really helped develop, so, develop us up front. You can say I'm a big part of it, but I mean, it's, it's definitely a team, definitely a team effort. I mean, everybody, it's, it's 11, everybody got to do their job because if somebody don't do their job, then it's not going to work out. No surprise that Saints quarterback Drew Brees was named the NFC's Offensive Player of the Week after setting the league's all-time record for passing yards in Monday night's win over the Redskins. Brees was 26 of 29 passing for 363 yards with three touchdowns. Now, a few weeks ago, Brees passed Brett Favre for most career completions, and next up on his list will be hitting touchdown number 500. He's now just one away from reaching that milestone. Only Favre, Peyton Manning, and most recently Tom Brady are members of that club. But we'll have to wait a bit for him to get it because the Saints have a bye week this week and are left to reflect on what was a historic Monday night. Especially against a good team, and then uh, you know to accomplish a lot of the team goals going into this game that were necessary to win, and obviously uh, with um, with us being able to win in a night where uh, a significant record was broken, um, you know that makes it that much more special. So any this this whole night was just just so memorable and. Um, it's kind of fun, kind of fun to be out there with Drew and be in the huddle with him and then be able to contribute to, to such a historic night. It was a ton of fun. Game four in the Bronx last night as the Yankees looking to avoid elimination while the Red Sox looking to end it right there on the enemy's ground. CC Sabathia on the mound for the Yanks. Trouble for him in the third inning. one nothing Boston. Ian Kinsler lines one to left. Brett Gardner can't quite make the play and a run would easily score. It would end up being a three-run frame in CeCe's night was done. So we jump out to the end of this one, 4-1 Sox. Closer Craig Kimberlin and causing heart palpitations among Sox fans everywhere, including myself, bases loaded. He hits Neil Walker, forcing in a run. And then you had this scare. Gary Sanchez hits one deep, but not deep enough. Andrew Benintendi tracking it down. Didi Gregorius still tagging up and scoring, and we had ourselves a one-run game. But finally, Eduardo Nunez and Steve Pierce tag-teaming, making a crazy play, a slow roller to third, and Pierce stretches to make the out, and the Red Sox win this one, holding off the Yankees in a wild ninth inning. So the stage finally set for the championship series. First up, Brewers and Dodgers kicking things off in Milwaukee Friday night, still waiting to see who will take the mound in that one, and then the ALCS begin Saturday night in Boston as the defending World Series champs pay a visit to Fenway Park. That pitching matchup features Chris Sale, Justin Verlander, two of the best pitchers in the league. And of course, the Astros took down the Red Sox last year in the ALDS. So the Red Sox certainly looking for some revenge, but it won't be easy. And look at us both wearing our red. We're red. See, and we're, a Red Sox fan. Yes, indeed. Well, I grew up watching them for spring exactly. training. Two against one. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> Insert Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. Ah, uh, there you go. Song Mark, repeat all Mark would not be happy right no, now. No, if he was here, we'd be playing it, but love it. I believe it. And maybe that's why he took off today. I, I, couldn't I show his so. face. He wasn't <laughs> He just couldn't, couldn't face I, me. I think that's what it was.